Hey guys, it's Cortland back again, and this time I will be bringing you five must-have games for beginner PC gamers. These five games are in no particular order and were chosen for their simplicity and excellence. They aren't meant to be the most visually pleasing games, but the best, most iconic games, in my opinion, to get your feet wet and get started with PC gaming. At number five, we have Rocket League. Psyonix's Rocket League is a sleeper hit that was released in 2015 and has since become one of the most popular games on the PC platform. To put it short, it is essentially giant soccer with rocket powered cars, and yes, it is as fun as it sounds. For as simple as the game is, it has provided hundreds of hours of entertainment for all of its 10 million plus fans. You have the ability to change the body style, paint job, and wheels of your vehicle, and you can also play cross platform with PlayStation and Xbox players if you so desire. If you're looking for a fast paced, sports oriented game, Rocket League is the game for you. At number 4 we have Gary's Mod. Created by Gary Newman with Valve Source Engine, Gary's Mod has been considered a classic in the PC gaming community for ages. I first got Gary's Mod in 2009, three years after its release, and I have since put over 1300 hours into it. With Gary's Mod, the possibilities are literally endless. If you are a creative person, you may be interested in just messing around with the sandbox mode, just building contraptions, spawning in zombies or enemies to fight, or making a giant ramp to jump your car off of. You can also go online and play some multiplayer with your friends if you want. There are many great game modes all made by the community such as Trouble and Terrorist Town, Death Run, and the many, many roleplay game modes. Gary's Mod was one of the first games I ever got on PC and it will always hold a special place in my heart. At number 3 we have Skyrim. If you're a fan of video games at all, then you have most likely played Bethesda's massive role-playing game Skyrim. However, playing this game on consoles does not quite amount to playing it on PC. On PC you have access to a vast world of modifications, and I know the special edition on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One does have the mod menu in-game now, but on PC you have the option to download graphical modifications that can make the game look on par with even today's best visuals. If you have still somehow managed to not play this game yet, I highly recommend picking it up on Steam. You'll get hundreds if not thousands of hours of enjoyment from it, guaranteed. At number 2 we have my personal favorite, Hotline Miami. Devolver Digital's 80s stylized top-down shooter game Hotline Miami has rightfully gained a sort of cult following since its release in 2012. I'm recommending Hotline Miami because it is a ridiculously fun game that any computer can run. Whenever I first got this game I didn't think I would be that into it because I wasn't too big into the retro stylized graphics, but after the first level I was hooked instantly. There's something about dying over and over and over that just makes you want to keep coming back and trying harder. And you can't talk about Hotline Miami without bringing up its unique soundtrack. The soundtrack consists of 80s style electronic synthwave style music, and after I finished the game I just found myself listening to the soundtrack on repeat all the time. I talk about the game's storyline, but it's one that's best discovered on your own. I will say that it is one of the best, most gripping and intriguing storylines that I've ever played. At number one, of course, we have Half-Life 2. Valve's masterpiece Half-Life 2 is arguably the most iconic game on the PC. Half-Life 2 is the perfect blend of story, characters, and good simple controls. Throughout the game you'll find yourself killing zombies with a crowbar, fighting against the combine, running from a helicopter in an airboat, hanging out with aliens, and much, much more. The characters that you encounter in Half-Life 2 are characters you will certainly not soon forget. In 2012, Half-Life 2 was rightfully voted Game of the Decade at the Video Game Awards. The game was very ahead of its time, and it really set the standard for what a game should be back whenever it was released in 2004. The only downfall of Half-Life 2 is that after you finish it and the two episodes that follow it, you'll still have to wait to see how the story continues. A third installment of the Half-Life series was never released, but that doesn't mean it'll never happen. So guys, that about wraps up my list of 5 must-have games for beginner PC gamers. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you liked this video and would like to see more lists like this one, please leave a like below, and don't forget to subscribe to see more gaming content. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.